Hey, what's going on guys? Back again with another video for you guys today. Sorry, it's been a while. So today we have ourselves the Kaiser Feist by Justin Lindquist. Lindquist. This is the model um, KI3499. Sorry about that. Uh, made in China. This is the Kaiser Feist. Justin Lindquist. Model is a KI3499. This comes in S35 VM blade with a titanium handle, 2.83 ounces. Inches, excuse me, for the blade. Um, got this guy through Blade HQ. Uh, this is like the older model, um, depending on when you watch this video, I guess. Um, I bought through Blade HQ because they had a sale going on because they're discontinuing this model. And then they're coming out with uh, the same model, I guess, not continue, discontinued. They're, they're um, redoing this model with some upgrades, I guess, or downgrades, depending on if you like it or not. Um, and pretty much it's going to line up the blade. But uh, there is one video out there online where you can see. Um, but the blade's not out yet, as of now when I'm doing this video. But we'll see. And I'll, I'll try to point out what they made or said is going to change. But yeah, let's get this guy open and check it out. I, I brought some other titanium handle knives today just to compare it for, compare it to. And um, I also have myself one front flipper to um, show this guy up with. So yeah, the this box feels really nice. It's like a... It feels like it's like a, a box that's like suede-ish, I guess, suede, but um, I know it's not suede, but it has that feeling. This is a really cool box. I haven't had a box like like this yet, you know? This is for my first Kaiser knife, I believe. I did order another one. I ordered the uh, the Sheepdog, and that's going to take a while because I ordered it through uh, one of the sites online that do not have the one I wanted in stock. It's one of those uh, custom ones. But here you go, Passion Pride Performance, designed by Kaiser. There it goes, guys. And let's see what it comes with. Uh, cleaning cloth, awesome. Labeled. I really like how they do this black thing. It feels very VIP-ish. And then um, their card. I'm not sure if this is a model card or. There it goes. So, uh, pause, you want to see the images. I guess it's of the blade being built. Or the, the handle. And then um, here's the uh, instruction manual. Thank you for choosing Kaiser. And uh, for the other languages. Anyways, let's get started with this. Again, um, I like this. It's a nice touch. It feels very uh, personalized. Even though I think that signature is printed on there. Yeah, it comes in a carry case. Didn't know that either. And the blade. A lot tinier than I expected. And let's go from there. Of course I did. I did buy this on like a... Oh, this is magnetic too, by the way. I did buy this on like an impulse buy. Um, I was at work. I think I was on my break and I just saw on Blade HQ. Um, they were like, hey, this guy's a... Uh, going on sale is going to be discontinued there's only like nine left and then i was like fuck nine left i gotta buy it so i just bought it right there in a spot just did a really quick research of how much they normally run i think everywhere else it goes for like you know, those guys are on there everywhere else it normally runs for about 170 168 or something like that and i think i bought this for um 140 i believe 139.99 through blade hq and um they're kind of enough to two-day ship it to me and um, I forgot what else I bought along with this, but yeah, very happy with this. Oh yeah, I purchased the Civivi Odium, uh, which is for pre-order. So you yeah, stay tuned, you have a video on that soon. But yeah, this guy's very small. Um, I like it actually. You know, I like the size. It looks like a three and a half inch handle. Let's see what it covers. So it is a three, a little bit over three and a half inches. Uh, the sights. Uh, measurement says it's going to be a 2.68 ounces. The handle length is 3.62. Hollow grind, drop point stone wash, CPM S35VN in the titanium handle. And it's going to be um, 6.5 overall length. And the blade length is 2.87, like the box showed earlier. Well, let's get started with this guy. So it's a front flipper. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, got a first time. Pretty happy about that. 
a little bit of oil on there. And looking at the blade right here, it says there, um, Feist. And if you look closely, it's a giant letter J, JL. And it says Lindquist, Lindquist. And if you look here at the front, it's going to put on there the model number you have. Uh, there goes the KI3499 and the S35VN. Uh, I'm actually happy I got this. Um, I didn't. I did like a quick kind of research on it, and I purchased it. And then um, looking online in other videos, um, other people out there actually have the same model. But um, I think their pivot screw right here has like swirls on it. Um, I kind of wanted the one that was uh, like this, where it didn't have any swirls on there. Um, if you look online, you'll probably see. But yeah, uh, from they did have one with like speed holes. One model with speed holes, and I think it comes with like a, a wine cliff blade, I believe. But the one with the speed holes has a, a smooth um, finish for here, for the pivot. And the um, all the ones I've seen online where it doesn't have it with a titanium handle that just flip runs through with the drop point blade has the the little spinny part. So that kind of kind of after I purchased it, I was like, damn it, stupid impulse buy. I don't like that look, but we'll see how how it goes. But I did see one or two online when I tried to search photos for this guy. Uh, a couple people didn't have that part on there, so I wasn't sure if it was like an older model or not. But yeah, this is a titanium handle blade. Um, again, S35VN, drop point, hollow grind. Love how it looks right here. Reminds me of my, uh, what's it, my Chris Reeves knives. I actually forgot to put that one out for uh, comparison, guys. So yeah, um, again, excuse me for my sweaty hands. And we'll do the, the measurements here like I read out earlier. So here they got jimping on the blade, uh, on the bottom part of it, and here too. Obviously that jimping is for when you want to flip it open. And I guess this is for a little bit added. Um, yeah, it feels really good in the hand. I love, uh, love the size. I'll pull out another knife later that I, I really love and um, compare it next to this. I think it's a 6.99 inch uh, elementum that I love in the hand. So um, I, one of the main reasons I got this guy was is similar in size. And we have the titanium handle, and I wanted to mess with it because I eventually want to get into anodizing. But yeah, um, let's measure this guy for you guys. So um, overall length here, it's going to be six and a half inches, and then the blade is about two, and a, a little bit, almost three inches, two point seven five, two and three fourths. And um, you know, let's see a clip here. My hands are sweaty now. I've seen some people do it with their index finger. And, uh, I don't think I can do it. Nope. Uh, maybe I'll mess with it enough. But yeah, um, I hear it's a little uh, challenging when you first get a front flipper. Just to practice with that thumb movement, you know, guys? But yeah, um, so I know... Um, let me get this measure out the way before I forget... Do all this crap. Measure the weight here for you guys. Let's weigh this guy. Sorry, my hands are a bit sweaty for this. Can you guys see that? All right. 2.6 online. 2.68. So awesome. Accurate. <clears throat> so let's do a cut test before I forget. I think I got a paper under here. Awesome. So let's do a cut test real quick. And then we'll go from there. I gotta get this right on video. Okay. Okay, so you just gotta follow through with the thumb. Follow through with the thumb and it'll feel good, guys. Oh, look out my finger. I'll be fine. And follow through. Nope. Oh, look, is that my skin? That might be my skin, guys. Let's clean that off. Um, I don't know. We'll see. God damn it. Sorry, guys. My hands are a little sweaty. The OCD's kicking in. All right, anyways. Uh, let's start with a cut test, and we'll just go from the rest, okay? So, the S35 again. Nice. It's sharp. It obviously got me in the finger first. Uh, if it's sharp, I'm sure I'll see blood later. But yeah, guys, um, obviously, people who love knives, not going to be your first time cutting yourself by accident. 
Uh, I love guns too. Luckily, I haven't shot myself yet by accident, obviously. So here goes centered. Love the blade, guys. Looks really good going down. Uh, so with the new model, I believe what they did was um, they did include some jimping right here for your thumb, just so you get a little better grip on there. I already got a pretty good grip on there now. Um, I believe what else they did was uh, they changed the back part here, the back spacer, and it's going to be um, just one lug running through. And it's not going to be this entire backspacer, and it's just going to be one screw here instead of two. So I guess people viewing it online, if, if the, they got old photos or something like that, or trying to describe it, um, you'll see at least uh, knowing that if you see photos where the blade's going to be closed, it's going to be hard to tell which model it is. But um, if you see one screw, you're going to know it's the newer model. And I believe, I'm not sure if they announced that, if they're going to change the model number yet for the uh, KI3499 right there on the blade. But yeah, I mean, a few of them, I'm assuming this is could be a newer model, not the, the new improved model, but um, compared to the first original run they had, uh, where it was the, the little waves here on the pivot screw. But um, we'll see what it, how it goes, guys. So uh, let me throw up some other knives for you guys to take a peek at. So this is obviously a front flipper, and I have another front flipper here. I bought it from Damned Designs, okay? This is not a titanium one. Um, well, the hardware and the pocket clip is titanium. But like this guy right here, uh, they are front flippers, but um, you could tell at the same time they're a little different. This guy is um, super tiny. Love this guy. Got it through Damn Designs. Uh, the guy who helped me was awesome. And uh, yeah, man, um, they came out with a drop point model that's available for reorder. If you guys are trying to get on that, get on their site at damneddesigns.com. And then uh, pick one up. Uh, this guy came about 80 bucks for the carbon fiber with the red G10 mixture in there. And then titanium hardware, S35VN also. And then they do have it in G10 uh, D2, which is like 40 bucks. And they have a full titanium version, which I also purchased for the drop point. It's going to be running $100, but if you pre-order in advance, it'd be like 35 bucks, I think. I mean, 30% uh, off, I believe. But anyways, um, this guy, front flipper. It's going to be, um, this is a uh, Zero Tolerance Savinsky, I don't want to butcher this, Sinkovich, Sinkovich, there you go guys. So this is another titanium handle blade I have here. Uh, I'm just going to throw them up next to each other just so you guys can take a peek and um, I'll kind of describe the feeling and you can see the different type of textures I guess. Um, and I have here a Chris Reeves um, Sabenza 31, got this guy through um, E-Knives. Very happy with it. Love it. Probably going to end up changing the uh, lanyard on that. Then we have ourselves the S35VN, also a titanium handle if you haven't seen the theme here. This is the Spyderco uh, Techno 2 titanium handle. And then we have ourselves a Ferrum Forge. Uh, I don't know what the hell is this guy called? Ferrum Forge Falcon. I uh, got this guy through Drop, Mass Drop. Sorry about that, guys. My video cut off for some reason on my phone. But uh, what I was saying was um, I'm going to try to put this video out a little sooner just so uh, anybody on there who saw this on sale on Blade HQ site. Uh, the, again, I did say they had nine left, and then I saw it go out of stock. And then went back in stock again, so I think someone might have canceled their order, so they might have a couple left. But, yeah, guys, um, overall, I really like this guy so far. Um, haven't got to bring it out much. Uh, here goes the pocket clip again, guys. It's not a deep carry, but it's a little stiff. But... Um, expected you know a brand new knife uh, i don't know about these pivot screws i'm sure the, i mean not pivot screws for me these screws are probably going to help um change the tension on your blade i guess uh looking inside we'll see if i want to mess with that or not yet but yeah i know there's a uh, probably like one or two other features that i might have forgotten that they're changing on this guy versus the new model but um yeah guys um if you're interested in purchasing it I really like it. Um, oh, this little bit all the way for me. I really like it so far, just kind of wise. Obviously, I haven't played with it enough just to learn how to do that front flip. But yeah, they do come in different variations, and I do know they have like a carbon fiber out there and a titanium version with speed holes. I'm guessing with a little bit of oil, it's going to come out a little nicer for me. But yeah, here goes the comparison for the other um, titanium blades, and I uh, hope you guys like it. 
and um, you know check out what their um, descriptions are uh, for their individual ones on uh, Blade HQ. Just if they're stone wash or whatever kind of bead blasted or whatever, so you know what kind of handle you're going to be getting. Just in case you didn't have an idea of like or wanted to get a better idea, just because there wasn't too many of these out there. But if you like what you see here, um, you can follow me on my Instagram. You're going to see more photos of this guy popping up soon. It's going to be M R I I Toys. Again, M-R-I-I Toys for my Instagram for photos. Give me a like, follow, whatever. And if you like the video here, uh, give me a like and subscribe. And I'll keep coming up with more stuff. Uh, I think I got like six things in the process of coming in. Six more blades. Um, you know, I got a bunch of firearms and guns and stuff too. But I'm too lazy to lug it out of my safe. Versus these guys are just sitting handy in a, uh, in like a Pelican box. You know what I mean? It's a little easier to take out. But yeah, uh, just stay tuned, guys. Um, I'll have more stuff coming. And again, like and subscribe. And uh, I got lanyard sales and uh, bracelet sales. I don't have one on me now, but um, I'll be making more stuff. Something similar to lines of this. And there'll be sale on my Etsy site, which will also be popping up at the very end uh, where the part you subscribe with. And I'll also show my Instagram tag in case you guys want to jump on that and follow, okay? So yeah, uh, stay sharp, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm sorry it cut out, and I'm hoping I'll be able to put this into one giant video, okay? Stay sharp, guys. Fuck.